When it comes to un-American douchebags, NCL Commissioner Roger Goodell wins the Golden Prize. Throughout the entire football season this idiot continued to ignore the will of his fans, choosing instead to side with his racist athletes who are now raising black power salutes when they sack white players on the field. As Goodell continues to piss off more and more NFL fans with his antics, you'd think he'd at least try to end the season on a good note, but shockingly, that's not the case. Now Goodell has a nasty message for our veteran community that will make you want to find the nearest trash can and punch it. Last week, the NFL sealed their fate as the most anti-American company in existence by refusing to allow the veterans group Amvets do advertisement to air during the Super Bowl. Their lame-ass excuse was that the NFL has already done enough to honor veterans this year. As Conservative Tribune reported, the Amvets had previously submitted the ad with the words please stand, but the NFL rejected it, citing a policy that prevents the league from using the program for political material. Brian McCarthy, the NFL's vice president of communications, told The Daily Caller last week, the Super Bowl game program is designed for fans to commemorate and celebrate the game, players, teams, and the Super Bowl. It's never been a place for advertising that could be considered by some as a political statement. This guy can't be freaking serious. Oh so a commercial honoring veterans is a political statement, but these racist players taking a knee and using their platform to bash white America isn't? Goodell wasn't quite done insulting our veterans with the refusal of the ad, as then went on to say that his organization has done enough already for vets. After being questioned about rejecting the vets ad, according to NBC's Pro Football Talk, Goodell told reporters, it's not an indication of any lack of support. We have a VFW ad that talks about, celebrates the important work that our veterans are doing, and of course you all know we're going to have 15 Medal of Honor winners that we're bringing together at the Super Bowl which I think is the largest number of Medal of Honor winners ever brought together at any event other than their annual national gathering. This guy is absolutely out of his mind if he thinks the NFL has ever done anything for our veterans. This clown is seriously going to allow these protests to continue on the field, but then wants to reject an ad that honors our veterans? Keep in mind this is the same idiot who is allowing his black players to flash black power salutes on the football field after they tackle white players, and wants to turn the NFL into a civil rights organization to bash whites. If you're seriously still watching NFL games after everything that's gone on this season, then you're part of the freaking problem.